So I'm gonna go with, this book changed my life, Golf EQ. Um, it's literally a book about golf, but as we all know, golf is a super mental game. And so it literally talks about what your body goes through when you're in high stress and how to not get there, how to stay steady and consistent. Um, but it's also a book that you can sort of transcribe to anything in your life. So relationships, um, the game of basketball, all those things. Eckhart Tolle is my guy. <laughs> so if I could sit with one person for dinner, this would be him. Um, the Power of Now, he has a whole other set. I think it's um, Stillness Speaks. We have another one of him here. There's another one I'm missing. Um, but The Power of Now, it's just a spiritual awakening book. Um, one of our great spiritual leaders of this time. Just a brilliant man. And then the other one, top three, The Secret. I can't talk about The Secret enough. Um, the Power of Manifesting, all those things, speaking into existence. I believe it. So those would be my top three. Just mindfulness, because I'll talk about mindfulness a lot. This is currently what I do just about every morning. It's just 75 essential meditations, um, ways to be mindful and conscious. So they're just little um, practices. If it's a four minute breathing exercise, if it's being cognizant of what you're eating, um, just taking the time to pause, I guess. So. I have a whole journal with that. This saves me every morning. All right, so what else we have over here? You talk about the great coaches ever. We have three wooden books here, very important to me. This is really my guy, favorite coach of all times, Phil Jackson. 11 rings, because um, he had 11 rings. Like, can you zoom in on this? 11. You're talking about Michael Jordan, you're talking about Kobe Bryant, 11. He's a Zen master, that's my guy. And then if I didn't have a Pat Summit book, then I should probably be fired right away. So there's Pat Summit. Oh, I got to shout out George Munford too, because he worked with Phil Jackson. So this was the guy that when they were winning all the championships at, in Chicago, um, he was sort of their spiritual guide and come in and do yoga and mindfulness and consciousness, um, all those practices with George Munford, so this is his book. Brene Brown, big Brene Brown fan. I'm more so shouting out Don Staley because she gave me a piece of the net, so that made the bookshelf. But it's right by Brene Brown. She is amazing. I have three of her books all right here. Dare to Lead, let me not mess Don up. Braving the Wilderness. I thought it was just me, but it isn't. And then she has a Daring Greatly that I still have to get. Um, but long story short, it's how to be fearless. She is a powerful woman um, who is honestly anywhere and everywhere now because um, everything that she says is true. You believe me? <laughs> you know, anytime you operate out of a place of love, good things are gonna happen. Um, so I'll start with that one. I think dreaming big is whatever your dream is, it's, it can come true. Like I've talked about manifesting, um, talked about speaking into existence. I believe all those things. Um, this is a, obviously a Bible verse that's very important to me. You know, delight yourself in the Lord. Like he'll basically fulfill all the desires of your heart. Um, I don't know, I think it's, it's powerful to constantly have reminders um, of good. You know, it's wherever you can have physical um, reminders, words, phrases, pictures, images of what you want to come into fruition, it's going to help. And so these are just constant reminders of why am I inspiring, why should I inspire, what are the things I ultimately want in life? Like, life is hard, and obviously we all have goals and, and visions and all those things, but um, if we're not operating from the place of, of being happy and finding joy and finding love, does it really matter? So um, they're all over my house, they're all over my office. Just super key reminders. 